Anil Neil draw a very entertaining draw against your title rivals, Tasca. What are your thoughts on the game first? Well, I agree with you, a very tight game. You know, both teams play quite different styles of football. You know, as you know, we try and play a bit more. Tusker a bit more direct, but I think both teams showed some really good stuff. You know, I think both coaches will be quite happy with a lot of the game in terms of just what we tried to do. Um, it was a big challenge, you know, I thought we created some chances, um, a bit unlucky, Austin's had an air shot in the first half, there's been one or two others, you know, again Austin's broke free, and it's just unfortunate it's in a moment when um, both Bonfias Amondi and Loas are both on the same side of the pitch, there was no right winger in the moment, and again we've had a couple of free kick opportunities, but yeah, I thought overall, you know, look, I think a draw is probably a fair result. Um, but you have to go back and look, and look, I know we don't have VAR in this league, and it's probably a while before we are, but it's a definite red card for Otieno in the first half. When you go back, he elbows Dennis Nanga, not once, but twice off the ball. When it happens the first time, we call the fourth official's attention to it, and then it happens again five or ten seconds later, off the ball, direct elbow to the head, and it's... It, if there was VAR or if the lines person or the referee sees it, it's a definite red card and a three-game suspension. And the other one, which I didn't see, but I've seen the evidence of it, Mameni, the 27, you know, if, if, if you were to bring Benson O'Mal over here, he has a scar from his eyebrow down to the nape of his shoulder from fingernails having been dragged down. So the moment when he was down in the box for a long time, he's got a scar the length of his face onto his neck. Again, this is a red card, okay? So look, I know there's a lot of things we need to do in Kenya, and I don't necessarily blame the center referee for not seeing things, because it's a fast-paced game, but like these are two definite red cards. And the game changes then. You know, if they get a red card in the first 20 minutes, which was the first incident with Dennis, then, the game changes, you know it does. And so I think both teams, 11 v 11, I think a draw is probably a fair result. Um, but yeah, like. Uh, coach, did you decide to play for set pieces today in particular, considering Jaffa's tendency to play low block and, and back? Well, look, set pieces are always a part of our game. I think we've probably got the most set piece goals this season. We work on them a lot. I think we scored 12 or 13 from corners and free kicks. But our, our chances in the game were from open play. You know, you had, as I said, Benson has had an air shot. There's a few others in there that are close. Um, you know, our chances have come from open play. So it's a mix. I thought Tusker came out with a different game plan today because they were a lot more aggressive and pressing than they normally are. Normally when you watch Tusker, the striker and the front three give a medium press. I thought today they were a lot more aggressive. And we did get in behind them a little bit more. We didn't necessarily expect that. But, you know, we adapted to it and we created some stuff. But, look, it's a point. Um, I think, like a lot of leagues around the world, this one's going to go right to the final day. Everyone watched Germany yesterday. Um, you saw the Ugandan League finished on the last day. And today the Rwandan League finished on the last day. So, I think this is going right down to the wire. Coach, Ulinzi Stars, you have Kakamega Homeboys and Nairobi City Stars. Some tough matches coming. Yeah, but look, they're games that ultimately in the first leg, I know we drew with Lindsay in the first leg, we obviously beat Kakamega, and um, you know we came out on top against Nairobi City Stars. Um, look, they're games that we've got to go and play. You've got to play everyone in this league twice. You know, that's the nature of it, and you can say that, but then equally, you know, our rivals have got to go up to Murahone next week, and you know only in Zoya of the top six teams have won in Murahone, and they're fighting for their lives to avoid relegation. Posta Rangers, you know, the coach there loves putting an upset against the big teams. So, look, there's a lot of football to be played, and again, if you watched the Bundesliga yesterday, who would have guessed that Mainz, with nothing to play for, would go 2-0 up against Borussia Dortmund. So, football's a funny game, and it's going to go to the last day, I'm pretty sure. Coach Matano says he's surprised that you played long ball today. I think, look, what we have to give credit to Tusker for is they sort of forced us into that a little bit because they did come and play a lot more aggressively, okay? So normally, as you say, we are a pass and move team. We tried to do that. I think Tusker did quite well at their aggressiveness in the midfield, which made that difficult. And so when that's difficult, you've got to mix it up and look to go in behind a little bit. I thought we had a fair mix of it. But look, you've got to give credit to your opponents sometimes in the way they play. But yeah, I thought both teams had a good game today.
So Emery's got an injury at the moment. So you'll remember a few weeks ago, he pulled up as he was making an overlapping run into the corner. I can't remember which game it was now, but it was two or three weeks ago. So we're hoping he'll be back, if not for the last three games, at least the last two. Um, so we're hoping. But um, And Shafiq was just tactical. We know, we know that... Um, we know that Tusker are very intense, and we thought Sydney today would do well, and he did. Sydney, um, or Chang had a very good game in the midfield, and so these are the tactical choices depending on who you play. And what's the situation with Benson Omala? We've just seen him being stretched off the... We'll have to assess him. You, you never know. You have to go let the swelling go down, and we'll assess him in the next 48 hours.